A month has passed since word came of Marquis Ferre's disappearance. Rumors and speculation run rampant throughout Lycia. The head of House Ostia, Lord Uther, takes no apparent interest. The Marquis's younger brother is considered odd by the populace. He and Marquis Ferre's son, Eliwood, are fast friends. A hot-blooded youth, he cannot ignore his friend's plight. Marquis Ostia's younger brother, Hector. He would one day be a courageous general. A steel warrior to be feared. The path he chooses will test him to the limits of his strength. Chapter 11 Another Journey Brother! Brother! Where is he? He's here, isn't he? Lord Hector, calm yourself. No words, Osborne, just move. That's enough, Hector. What is the meaning of this? You know full well. The disappearance of Marcus Ferre. We discussed this time and time again. This matter is none of Ostia's affair. We have no reason to involve ourselves. It would be folly to do so. Eliwood's father is missing, for goodness sake. We know that Marcus Laos is connected in some way. I say we use Ostia's might to end this mystery and find the truth. Calm yourself, you fool. An invasion would be madness. This it can ill afford the chaos such an action would bring. Surely even you must understand that. Bah, I understand all too well, brother. Stay there on your throne. Sit there until the rot's beneath you. I will do this alone. Lord Hector, you should watch your tone. Peace, Oswin. Let him go. There's no reasoning him. There's no reasoning with him when he gets like this. <sighs> Matthew. Matthew. Blast it. Where could he be? I'm right here. You, you're not a wraith. Stop skulking in the shadows like one. Hmm, a wraith? And here I thought it was a spy. Be that as it may. As my lord ordered, here are your travel rations and your beloved axe. And I've purchased the silences of, Royan, of some royal guardsmen. You're free to sleep out, slip out the rear entrance and vanish. Well done, Matthew. Try not to let my brother discover my absence too quickly. What? I thought I was going with you. You're a bigger fool than I had imagined. Did you think I would trust my brother's spy? Who knows when you would turn me in for some favor? Where I go, I go alone. Shh! You keep on shouting and you'll go nowhere. Every guard in the palace must have heard that. Enough. Do not try and follow me. I did not imagine you would find me so untrustworthy. Professional hazard, it seems. Watch yourself, young master. Huh? He... He gave up too easily. I don't trust him. The time has come. I've got to get out of here and rendezvous with Eliwood. These bags, what did Matthew put in these things? This is ridiculous, even if he was packing for two. Huh? Come out. I know you're there. Who are you? Too dumb to speak? Makes no difference to me. Move out of my way or I'll run you through. Ha! Whoa! My lord, stay your arm! It's me! Who? Matthew? I was sure you were one of them. Well, I'm not. I'm one of me. And I would prefer to remain in one piece. Your fall for jumping out of nowhere. Now tell me, what are you doing here? Hmm? Uh, I sensed that something was wrong and came to your aid. My aid? We'll accept that answer for the time being. So, what should we do? About what? about the fellows between us and the way out. I'd say there are eight or seven or eight of them. To make matters worse, they seem highly competent. I know you're quite confident in your martial abilities, but I'm not the strongest sword arm around, and well, if you've got something to say, Matthew, then say it. We could abandon the rear entrance. I'm sure the Royal Guardsmen would be happy to aid us, and never! That's what I thought you would say. All that's left is to avoid getting killed, right? You can go back if you want. In your own words, my lord, never. I'm with you, wherever that may lead. Right. 
them. Let's give them a good thrashing and get out of here. What's going on, everybody? It's Jibson, and today we are starting chapter 11 of Hector's normal mode, not hard mode. Um, I know, I know, I I was down to the hard mode, but it's only to give you guys a better show because apparently I suck at hard mode. Um, anyway, normal mode is gonna be a piece of cake compared to that, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to only use a few people and make just a really really good team and uh, hopefully it will be very very fun and I won't die at all and Merlinus will live <laughs> I mean what spoilers <laughs> anyway this first chapter on normal mode is pretty easy um, I, I dislike wasting the wolf beetle in this chapter so I tried just to use the hand axe as much as possible and I want to use Matthew as much as possible too. Unfortunately, he's pretty weak. Even even um, even though I used him in lens mode, uh, I used him. A, I didn't use him that much, but I still trained him up a few levels. He's level five. He didn't hardly get any strength if he even got any. So that's unfortunate. But you know, he's Matthew. Uh, in my other playthrough. I was doing well with Matthew. Sorry, I got a text. All right, well, these archers, actually nobody on this map really poses a threat. Poises, poses, I don't know. What am I saying? Except for maybe this guy, which you really have to use the wolf beal on. But, you know, I try not to let that get to me. Alright, well I did not mean to break that wall. I should stop using speed and actually play this game correctly. Okay, uh... I can't hit this guy, so I might have to use Matthew to kill him. Come on, Hector, you can do it. Thank you. Hopefully next, next turn I can kill him. And I'll have Matthew visit this, uh, chest right here. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba. Let me see that 60, yeah. Add it, baby, Hector, 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 Hector. So, really, this first chapter is pretty boring. I don't really have much to say about it, other than hard mode is so much harder. I can't even stress that enough. Hector can easily, easily, easily die <laughs> in this on hard. Uh, there are just so many more like soldiers, and uh, it's just a nightmare. This guy's got zero speed. That's just how easy this is. I mean, he still will do some damage to Matthew, but I mean, oh boy, this is this is a cakewalk compared to last time. <laughs> Except Hector can't do that much damage to him, but we're not gonna e even waste the wolf beal. And Hector's pretty squishy, actually. He's level one, I can understand it, but later on in the game, he becomes like your your main tank unless you use Oswin which even then he can he's pretty competitive with Oswin's uh, defense which is odd since he's a knight but Hector is pretty beefy he's already got 8 defense and his strength is pretty good too the only thing he's really bad at is uh, speed but usually he gets alright speed growth you know look at this 3 damage that's pathetic man by pathetic, I mean Hector Squishy, and he's only got like 19 HP. I'm gonna finish him off with Matthew, get him some XP, you know? Just go straight on to the fight. I don't know, but Hector's getting pretty low in HP, so I'm kind of worried about him. Nah, but not too bad, not too bad. Strength and resistance. Nice, nice, nice. We'll need that for a chapter coming up soon. Not really that soon, but eventually. We'll give him a vulnerable and just leave him right there. <sighs> Let's uh, get through this turn. Hopefully, dang it, Hector. <laughs> I, I didn't realize the pillar was right there. So I might miss one of these, one of these hand axes. But hopefully, Hector will keep rolling the 65s. Maybe I should have put Hector there instead. But that would have left Matthew open. 
he might have been in danger, but all is well. Hector is gonna get a level up, maybe some speed or just more strength. That's uh, that's always cool. I mean, when can you have? Well, I don't know why he didn't go for math right here. Maybe I just maybe because Hector is lower on HP. I guess I don't know. But I think Matthew would have been a better choice. I did not mean to do that, <laughs> but. I think that's what I was going to do anyway, so I'll just finish him off with Matthew and then heal Hector the next turn. We got this in the bag, just got to wolf beal this boss guy over here, and all will be well. Alright, let's start moving over to the boss. I've already used my whole hand axe up, which is kind of a bummer, but we get a new one pretty soon. I just like to keep... Um, my wolf beal for as long as possible. I usually end up with way too many uses anyway since you get more eventually But you get them way late in the game, so Might as well save it up while you can yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So let's just Let's just kill him. You're not Marquis Laos's assassins. Are you? You're too good too professional Nothing like those idiots over there You've no need to know, little Lord Hector. A fool like you sneaking out of the country alone? You'll go missing, never to return. Your body will never be found. Tidy story, eh? Haha. <laughs> Looks like your luck's run out. Our luck? What are you? You see, I'm as about I'm about as angry as I've ever been. I doubt that even a dozen of you could slow me down. Prepare to die! Yeah, um, unfortunately Hector cannot take on a dozen of these guys yet, but soon he will be there. He will be at that level, and it will be glorious. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just do that. Save the wolf beal. What? <laughs> I, I didn't realize he could heal, so I'm just going to finish him off. Bang. I think he had something I could have stole, actually. Oops. Forgive me, Lord Nurgle. Nurgle? Nurgle? I don't know. But Hector gets another level up. See what if he gets some speed. That would be great. Awesome. Some speed and HP. Needs both of those. And there ends the chapter. Whew. That was close. Glad we're both alright. Come, my lord. We must fly. The castle guard must have heard all the noise. Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was all going to happen, didn't you? What else could I do? Those assassins wouldn't show themselves until you were alone. I suppose. Mark my words, Matthew, you're coming with me. But from this point forward, you are no longer my brother, spy. You are my man now, to the bitter end. Yes, my lord. Shall I swear a knightly vow? To what purpose? Your own words will hold you well enough. True enough! Let us go, then, to Ellywood. My lord Marquess, it's Lord Hector. He's... He's gone, isn't he? Y yes, my lord. What are we get? We are gathering man. We are gathering men now to give chase. Attend me. We will let him go. My lord. Ah, headstrong fool. Oof. <coughs> lord Uther, are you well? I'm fine. <clears throat> it has passed. There's no need for concern. You must not rely so much on physical strength alone. It has been most trying these past few weeks. The affairs of the court have not let you sleep. You might endanger your health if you keep on. Yes, Oswin, I understand. I will speak with the physician on the morrow. Will that allay your fears? Yes, my lord. I shall make the arrangements. Oswin, about Hector. I can entrust him to you, yes? Of course, my lord. I will guard him with my very life's blood. And that has been it for chapter 11. Thank you all for watching. And come back next time to watch me play Hormel. Hormel? <laughs> Hector is normal mode. And uh, yeah. So yeah. Just come back and watch it again. Because that chapter is boring. And the next one will be more fun. So yeah. I'll see you all later. Peace.